we're proposing to change the city plan to enable a wider variety of houses in Tauranga's suburban areas. What does this mean and how can you be involved? Tauranga is no longer a small coastal town. Our population has doubled in the last 30 years and in the next 30, we're expecting another 45,000 people to join our slice of paradise. All these people need somewhere to live, so we need to make the most of the limited space we have to accommodate our growing community. It's a community that's changing over time. We're getting older and families are getting smaller, so we don't all need a three or four bedroom house. We're already working to shape future growth in some parts of the Tapapa Peninsula, from Gretton to the city centre. Higher density housing like apartment buildings and terraced houses will be one of the features of these plans. But we're also looking at what people can build in the rest of the city, in what we call the suburban residential zone. To enable people to build a range of different homes, we're revisiting the city plan rules to fit into the central government strategy for growth and set up Tauranga for the future. We're proposing to retain the current rules for heights and setbacks. The footprint of the buildings would stay the same as what people can build right now. But instead of a single-storey three-bedroom house, you could have two double-storey two-bedroom duplexes. Or on a larger section, a row of townhouses giving people a better choice of homes to suit their needs. Here's where you come in. Together, we'll work to develop the rules to ensure these new builds don't just look good, they also create great spaces and neighbourhoods for us all to live in, all with the right infrastructure. This is your home. What you do with your house or land is up to you. But these proposed changes would open up a wealth of opportunity for our community and our city over time. We'll continue to share our ideas and seek your feedback later in 2020.